Hello everyone. Welcome to iExam B. Embrace the iExam B learning experience for 50% faster job preparation. There is a good news for students who have been preparing and waiting for NABAD IT exam. The NABAD IT notification is expected very very soon. Uh, it may come in the month of October uh, towards the end of the October. We also uh, got news about the expected dates of the exam. Sushil Raghre sir who, gives, uh, who gets this information uh, is very accurate uh, with the dates and we can see that the phase one grade a exam is expected to be on the 20th of december and phase two is expected to be on the 25th of january which means your notification can come out anytime soon in the month of october here in this video we will focus on what are the things that you should know before the notification so that you can concentrate on your preparation Looking at the trends of the vacancies in the past, we saw the highest vacancy of 40 come out in 2023. We saw 16 vacancies last year and expect double digits vacancies even in this year. Understanding the eligibility for your information technology or IT, you need to either have a bachelor's degree in engineering technology in computer science or computer engineering, IT, electronics, electronics and telecommunications, electronics and communication, electronics and instrumentation, data science, machine learning and artificial intelligence from any recognized university. The key point to note is that you need a minimum of 60% marks if you belong to the SC, STP, WBD category, then 55% marks. This is aggregate of your four years degree. Or you could also have a post-graduation degree in similar subjects related to computer science and or electronics or information technology. In case you have post-graduation, then the applicable minimum marks will be 55% in aggregate and 50% for SC, STP, WBD uh, candidates. Apart from this, students who have done a graduation with 60% marks in aggregate from any university and from any discipline and have a and have passed Department of Electronics and Accreditation of Computer Courses B level, they will also be eligible for this particular post. Not mandatory but desirable if you hold a diploma or post-graduation diploma in data science, it will be an ad added advantage for such candidates. Having understood the eligibility, the age criteria is also there, usually up to 30 years uh, at, on a given cutoff date. That is what is usually expected. Okay, there is no requirement for experience per se for this particular job. Moving on to understand the exam pattern, what all you should be preparing. The exam and the selection process consists of phase one exam followed by phase two exam and then you interview. Every stage uh, a certain number of candidates are qualified. Phase one almost 25 times the vacancies uh, students are qualified and moved to phase two, where mostly three times the vacancies students move to the interview stage. So this is usually typically how this happens. If we look at the exam pattern, you can see there are eight subjects, which is generic and common for all the streams. But this also gets divided into two elements. The first five subjects of reasoning, English, computer knowledge, quant and decision making uh, totaling 100 marks are qualifying in nature. So this section is qualifying, which means you need to cross every sectional cutoff for all these subjects. And if you qualify, then the merit based list is made based on the remaining three subjects of general awareness, economic and social issues with focus on rural India and agriculture and rural development with focus on rural India. This is another 100 marks paper, but this, as I stated, is merit based based on which you qualify and move to the phase two. 
Before I move on to explain, let me tell you about iExam B. iExam B has been guiding for NABARD IT exam since 2021 and our content is very crisp to help you in 50% faster job preparation. The pedagogy consists of recorded video lessons for conceptual clarity of the topics in the syllabus, study notes, uh, live doubt classes for further clarification with the faculty, MCQ booklets and a lot of practice for all the subjects of your phase one and phase two and computer based practice at the concept level, chapter test level, section test level and the exam exact pattern level. If you need to know all the details about how you can go ahead and study all these eight subjects plus for your mains the IT subject, you can download this complete guidance study plan that has a 12 week study plan for you to study. As we move on to understand the cutoffs for prelims is very very important if we see 2024 last year the sectional cutoff out of 24 quant was four and a half this was uh, more or less similar to uh, 2021 where the highest cutoff went to up to 5 and we saw 3 in the last 2 years. The reasoning the cutoff was 3.25 uh, which has been in this range of 3 to 4 marks over the last 4 years. English has a usually higher cutoff but we saw one of the least cutoff last year at 10.75. Decision making out of 10 2 marks has been the cutoff in 2024 while computer saw a cutoff of 4 marks out of 20. So this as I stated is only qualifying in nature when while your merit section is based on these three uh, subjects of ARD, agriculture and rural development, economic and social issues and general awareness. Out of this ARD got a cutoff for 6.5 marks out of 40. 3.5 for ESI and 1.25 for general awareness. The overall cutoff out of 100 marks was 23. So uh, you can see that you can strengthen two subjects and uh, focus on only qualifying in your qualifying uh, subjects so that you can focus on the merit and your mains exam which is needed for your final selection. So understanding the mains pattern, it consists of two papers, your general English which is a drafting paper to just test your drafting skills in English. It consists of three questions which are an essay, a pressy and a reading comprehension. This is of 100 marks and you have to type with the help of a computer. Your section, so your paper two is the stream specific which is IT based paper which has two aspects both objective and descriptive you are tested for both with 50% uh, weightage of each 50 marks for objective and 50 marks for descriptive paper. In descriptive paper you are given choice also you have six questions given you have to attempt four out of these two of 15 marks and two of 10 marks. This also you have to type with the help of a keyboard so it is an online based exam. If you look at the syllabus for IT stream, what you need to study for main subject, you can see it consists of all the conceptual knowledge for all the basic subjects of IT, including introduction to software, computer fundamentals, data structure, the programming languages, C, C++, Java, Python, uh, the elements of system analysis and design, numerical and statistical computing, data communications and network, computer ne architecture, object-oriented systems, DBMS and RDBMS, software engineering, operating systems, MIS, internet of things and mobile computing, design and analysis of algorithms, basics of AI, AI, ML and natural language processing. This is something that has been coming up and being asked in more and more exams. Now, apart from the cybersecurity, big data analytics, data modeling, concept of data visualization, data warehousing and API usage are the other topics that are covered in your syllabus conceptual and application based understanding of all these topics is tested in the exam, both in objective and descriptive paper. For qualification, as I stated three times the number of students move on to the interview stage. You have to meet sectional cutoff of each of these and the overall cutoff. In 2024, the sectional cutoff for your descriptive English 
descriptive English paper was 54 out of 100, while your objective paper had a cutoff of 21.25, which was one of the highest in the last four years. Uh, for the descriptive paper, the uh, cutoff was 24, almost 50%, and out of 200, the overall cutoff was 119.25 marks. So, uh, there is a good amount of competition, but if you prepare in a focused manner and start early, you can prepare very, very well. As you can see, the difference between the mains and the prelims is usually one month. So you should prepare for your IT subject from day one itself, including and focusing on the merit section of phase one. After you qualify and give the phase one, phase two exam, then you are tested on, uh, there is a psychometric test which is MCQ based but the marks of this are not added for your final uh, qualification and then you have an interview of 50 marks which get added for your final selection right if we look at the cutoff for the last two three years out of the overall cutoff out of 250 marks which consists of 200 for your mains exam and 50 for your interview this total to 159.75 out of 250. So this has been the cutoff. This was almost in the same range as the previous two years. So you can see around 160 marks has been uh, on an average has been the cutoff over the last three years from the final stage. So having understood the exam pattern, the aim, how much has been the cutoff, what the syllabus is for your IT, you can go ahead and start your preparation. You can start your preparation with the GA subject, which is one of the merit topics in the phase one. And this you can do with the help of BPDA, which is I exam B's GA magazine, uh, which is published on a daily, weekly and a monthly basis and is freely available on our website. You can also download it from our app for seamless access for not just the free content, but also your courses for your structured preparation and 50% faster job preparation. If you have any other query, you can write to us in the comments or write us at hello at iExampi.com or call us at 920-552-4028. Wishing you all the best.